Hi everyone, this is Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making this I Said a Prayer for You card using a May May Made It stamp set. I receive their religious stamp set every month. It's like $12 for an exclusive set and it's kind of neat. So you can see I have my card layout up in the corner there with my dies and my stamps that I want to use, but I needed to do some ink blending from my background. I chose some colors that are not rainbow. I know rainbow is the fashion right now and everybody's using it, but I thought this orange carved pumpkin and rusty hinge was a really good place to start for a color combo. So those were distress oxide inks. I blended them on, I spread some water and I let the panel dry. On this Nina cardstock here, I am stamping my image in Ink on 3 Blackout Ink, and it's a little boy that is praying. Uh, I guess it could be a teenager or just a man with messy hair. At first I used the circle die to make sure that I had it positioned so that I could get enough of the circle um, die cut out of the white. And then I went into my Copic coloring. I used a BV for my shadows and then my traditional Caucasian skin combo that I is my go-to I guess and then I used my E20s for the, the young man's hair E21, E25, E29 and then I think I used E79 for my deepest color yep E79 just to deepen up the color you can see I did some flicking I left the highlight kind of on the edge of his head I figured that's where this the, light would hit him makes his hair look clean and shiny and then I used the same E's for his boots and belt the E25 and the E29 they make a really nice leather combination and this is my favorite color combination for blue jeans it's the B90s so it's B99 B97 B95 and B93 sometimes I do throw in B91 but today I did not and this is orange um, so what I did is I went in with my Y00 and you can see I colored a color and I shouldn't have. And then I used my YR27 and my E97 in my deepest areas. But this here, this YR68 is actually my darkest color. I went right over those. I just wanted some deeper tones underneath and I liked how that orange color combination turned out. I used a little bit of C1 and 3 in my colorless blender for shirt to add some shading. And then I die cut my pieces. This is a Gina Marie die. It's got like a lacy edge. And I know that this is a boy and it should be kind of masculine, but I really like um, that die. The rounded edge die is Catherine Pooler die. So here, after I die cut everything, I use this little Sizzix brush thing to poke out all the little holes. And it did a pretty good job. It felt like it was going to scratch my cardstock when I turned it back over, so then I just used my pokey tool. And here I was laying everything out. I had planned on using that orange, which is why I was careful how I cut out that panel, but then I decided on some brown and needed more contrast. Cleaned off my stamp because I hadn't done that yet, and I decided to stamp my sentiment, which says, I said a prayer for you today, which is very sweet. Could be for just about anything. The stamp set is adorable, by the way. It's got a, a young lady and a young boy and a ton of sentiments um, faith in God includes faith in his timing praying for you believing he will answer prayer is the key faith unlocks the door with his love he will calm all your fears and I said a prayer for you so I heat embossed in chocolate brown it was a uh, Gina K Gina K Designs chocolate brown embossing powder I usually go for black but I thought with the brown hair and the leather boots and stuff and the brown I would use brown then that scalloped edge die is a mama elephant die so lots of fancy edges and I did emboss dry emboss that background with a spellbinders embossing folder so after I did the water and the die cutting I did run it through for dry embossing and here I popped this up that roll of foam tape is getting so small there might be one more card left on there so I put all that foam tape on there and I centered that up and then I added some white gel pen detail this is my number 10 jelly roll pen I really love that one 
and I used a small piece of foam tape here just to make sure I could support the edges and then realized that one was just a little too thick and you could see it. And I added liquid adhesive in case I needed to move this just a little bit once I set it down, just in case he wasn't straight, uh, didn't look like he was kneeling straight. And then I used my longer scissors and I trimmed the edge of that off. And I absolutely thought I was done with this card. I adhered it to card base. and held it up and I was like oh there it is that card is done and then I thought something was missing so I pulled out these banner dies and I thought a banner there on the edge would look really nice so I gonna kind of partially die cut it and I just chose to die cut the whole thing I used that little Sizzix sidekick again and then I just trimmed this banner down with my trimmer And adhered that and I felt like that completed the card way better so there's some pictures here at the end I'd love to know what you think of my card what your favorite part was I would be super ecstatic if you would subscribe and like and even share my video thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next one